Commonwealth TV live from Las Vegas in HIMSS 16. And this morning, we're fortunate to swing by Influence Health, but we're going to talk about Commonwealth. So this morning, I'm joined by Bradley Case, Senior Vice President and General Manager, Clinical Solutions with Influence Health. Bradley, good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you. your warm welcome. Let's jump right to it. So in what ways does your company hope to contribute to Commonwealth and its mission to make health data available to providers regardless of where the care occurs? Well, I think uh, Influence Health has a tremendous amount of experience over the last six or seven years in creating interoperable experiences, um, centralized patient experiences that feed from multiple systems, different EMRs, disparate systems, uh, the ability to cross barriers, uh, both uh, from a technical perspective, but also from a business perspective. Um, there's entities that are working together that have never worked together before, yeah. and they need to find a way to be able to share data back and forth so that they can improve outcomes, and that's what our experience set is. So in what ways do you see Commonwealth helping to break down those barriers to nationwide data exchange? I think what's most interesting to us about Commonwealth is it's a series of uh, specifications that aren't technical, un exclusively technical. There are, of course, the technical components, but it's also the business case behind it. Understanding what the actual flow of data and what the meaning is for the clients that are on the other end of it, whether it's the patients, the physicians, uh, a health network, uh, what have you. Uh, the intent there is for uh, uh, to be able to describe effectively uh, how that data flows and what the outcome is going to be. And I think what's most appealing to us about Commonwealth is it starts from what's the outcome that we're trying to create, how do we actually make this better in the community for the patients and the physicians, and then works backwards into the technical standard, which is the reverse of what we've seen in the past. Yeah, yeah, understand. So what do you think will be the most significant change in nationwide interoperability in 2016? Well, I think what we're starting to see is a pivot uh, towards an understanding of role within community. Um, it, you know, in, in years past, we've seen data as, uh, it's, it's been seen almost as an asset for a clinical organization, something that they needed to guard that was theirs. And I think there's a much broader recognition now um, that providers need that no matter where they are. Yeah. Patients need those providers to have that. And there's really a sense of community responsibility when it comes to being able to share patients. It's no longer about a competitive distance. It's more about the responsibility that, that we share in healthcare uh, for patients in a community. And I think what we're starting to see is, and we will continue to see through 2016, is a real pivot towards that sense of community connection and that interoperability is a barrier that has to come down for us to improve quality, improve uh, uh, the satisfaction of care and reduce cost. But what differentiates Commonwealth from other groups also focused on breaking down those barriers to, to data exchange? Well, from our perspective, Commonwealth really um, uh, has been a strong advocate for that concept of being vendor agnostic. To be able to stand up gives us a place where we can stand up and say, we'll work with people that we compete against, we'll work with people that we've worked with before. Uh, the reality here is our value as a vendor isn't just in the data that we have, it's what we do with it, and the, those solutions that we can uniquely provide. Uh, and so having access to the data and being able to share access back to the data, that really accelerates uh, the change in healthcare. So from, from our perspective, it goes back to that same understanding what the community responsibility is, understanding how you actually get that data shared and for what purpose, and ultimately what the what the value is to the, to the patients and physicians. Where can people go to learn more about Influence Health? Best place to go is to start with our website, uh, www.influencehealth.com. Uh, there's lots of descriptions about our products and services there, and it's a fantastic place to understand how we influence health. Outstanding. Bradley Case, Senior Vice President, General Manager of Clinical Solutions with Influence Health. Great to have you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks again for the warm welcome. Thanks very much. Commonwealth TV, signing off from Las Vegas and HIMSS 16.